How are we doing there boys and girls? Mathis here, welcome back to another video. So I want to bring you three farms today. Now I'm not the biggest farmer, but you know, I have a bit of a past history of goal making in general. And so when Mr. Bandaria Remix launched, I was like, oh, we can go kill this mob, this mob, this mob, and this mob. And you know, these are the hyper spawns, this is the good stuff. So I want to bring you three today. Uh, one that's already pretty popular. So if it ends up being nerfed relatively quickly, well, this does tend to happen. We've already had a couple of the good spots nerfed. Frogs, I'm looking at you. Goats, I'm looking at you. Uh, we've already had a couple of the good spots for bronze nerfed, but these will both be good for bronze and also for your threads. And a couple of them you can do solo, a couple of them you're gonna sort of, you know, get best results in the group. But let's dive straight into it. So the first one I wanna show you is out here in, uh, our first let's show you on the little mini map actually, just to the south of East Wind Rest. Uh, this little strip between East Wind Rest and Bainan Village is a really good little spot. And if you come out here now, you'll probably already find a whole bunch of people farming here. Um, this, as I said, at time of recording this video is already quite popular, but it's because there's these big clumps of mobs and these big clumps of mobs are practically hyperspawn. Hyperspawn is what's referred to as when a mob has to have a certain amount of mobs in a certain area. This is from the design of uh, questing. When these expansions first launch and everybody's running through and they're doing their questing, you're you want there to always be some mobs for some players to kill if they're trying to do quests in the area. That's why hyper spawns exist. But you can already see, people are nuking these. Um, it is common to do these in groups at the moment. If you take a look in your group finder, you'll probably find them listed as Kunlai group. Haha, uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Kunlai farm, Kunlai farm. You'll find people are putting groups together. It's advised to keep the groups to a limit of four. Um, this means that a couple of different groups can be in the same area and tagging the mobs without them going gray, like you'll see here. The fact that they're going gray is an indication that they've already been tagged by too many people. Um, this is a popular spot. Popular for good reason, though. Popular for good reason because it's got... Uh, pretty good pretty good rates. Uh, we did a little bit of testing on stream today. This one can get you somewhere in the region of 20,000 bronze an hour if you can get a group on the go. Uh, and you're going to get a bunch of threads out the back of that as well, a couple of thousand threads. This is a very good little farming spot. But if you're on a layer like mine, it might actually be quite difficult to A, find a group, and B, even get tags on some of these mobs, unless you are very well geared and can run around one-shotting stuff. So that's uh, that's spot number one. You can get some pretty good results with this, but I would highly, highly suggest a group. Um, let's go take a little bit of a look at another farm, but something that can be potentially done solo. Right then, so this second farm is to the south area of, uh, what's this zone called? The Jade Forest, the very southern part of the Jade Forest, right where the pirate ship is on your map. Uh, and it's all these hose and scavenger fellas. These were a very popular farming spot way back in the day for the Tome of Polymorph Monkey. Uh, apparently, you can probably still get this from here. Uh, so this is why some gold makers may be aware of this. People have farmed up this before, but these guys hyperspawn like crazy. Now, now they're not clumped up like the last ones, but the hyperspawn mechanic is just as fast and just as furious. With the benefit, they have very little health, uh, meaning this actually becomes quite a good one for solo players as well. Now, admittedly, my character is gear capped right now, uh, so I absolutely 100% one shot stuff. But these, by the time you've got a few bits of gear under your belt, once you've got some tinkers on board, you should be having no problem soloing a whole bunch of these and pulling them as fast as you can. Uh, we did some testing of this little spot on stream today as well. Uh, four of us joined up in a group, and even with four of us in a group, we still couldn't kill things fast enough. It wasn't as lucrative as the last spot I showed you, the Kunlai farm, but it's still very, very good because they do hyperspawn. Uh, expect this one to maybe be on the list when the first one in this video gets nerfed. This is my guess. Uh, it was a big surprise to me that people didn't know about this one because this was uh, a popular one for me way back in the day. 
But of course, not everybody played Mr. Pandaria originally, so uh, maybe not everybody's aware of all of the farms, hence why I'm making some of these videos now. I think I have some, some useful information to share. Uh, but try bringing a group down here, or of course, if you happen to find a shard before this video gets too many views, uh, you can hop down here, kill these hoes and ravengers solo, loot them up, and once again, they drop bronze, they drop threads. Uh, and you are looking somewhere in the region of 10 to 15,000 bronze an hour quite comfortably, even potentially doing this solo if you can run around and, and, and pew pew these little hosens fast enough. So yeah, give this one a go if the first one gets nerfed, but let's take a look at a third one. The third one uh, is uh, monkeys again, believe it or not. Poor monkeys are getting a bit of a beating in this, in this, uh, this video, but the third one is going to be a little bit more restrictive, but it's solo only doesn't really work particularly well in the group but we'll take a little bit of a look at that one next all right then so this last one is actually my little secret source this is the little spot i've been using mostly off stream of course uh, but i've been using this one almost exclusively for getting uh, bonus bronze and threads throughout remix so far uh, and i've had almost zero competition the entire time so hopefully too many people don't jump on this and it gets completely useless but these unga villagers we are in the very southern tip of the Karasang Wilds on this little island here. There is monkeys galore once again down here. And whilst these don't hyper spawn, there's loads of them. And same scenario again as the last little spot I showed you. Their health is remarkably low, meaning that most characters, even without too much gear, should be able to blast their way through a bunch of these. And their loot table is just as good. Threads, bronze, gems, the works. Uh, lots of greens from this area as well, I actually found. I don't know whether it's uh, whether the loot table is slightly different here, but there was loads of green gear dropping. You see, I've got three pieces of gear, three pieces of green gear just in that one pull. Um, by the time you break those down for bonus bronze, you it really does help boost those sort of hourly numbers if you're out here farming. Of course, it's going to require you to do a little bit of running around this one. Um, but I tend to do it in laps. So I work from one side of the island, run all the way across the other so to the other side of the island, finishing uh, just past this ship here. There's a big clump of mobs here from time to time. There's a big clump of mobs that spawn up here. Look, you can see there's hundreds of the damn things. Um, all very quickly, easy to blast down. Whilst it's not a hyper spawn, even with max gear, by the time it takes me to get from one side of this island to the other, killing everything in my path, they've started to respawn again at the beginning. Um, the only downside is that competition here is not your friend. You want to try and make sure you are realistically the only person here for this spot, which is why it gets third on my list today and not any higher. As, uh, if anybody else is here farming at the same time, it becomes a little bit difficult. Of course, a group here is great, but with no hyper spawn mechanic, too many people here, you're going to run out of things to kill and it's going to be not so great. Perfect for solo. I've been using this solo for almost my entire remix experience and it's been absolutely fantastic. So that boys and girls is three little farms. Even though I'm not the biggest farmer, I hope there's something there for you, whether you're looking to do something solo or whether you're wanting absolute optimal meta level bronze and thread acquisition, um, there should be something that will work for you. Choice is good though, choice is good because Blizzard have had a pretty, pretty fast ban hammer, a pretty fast, or not ban hammer, I should say, nerf hammer uh, on some of these spots that they deem a little bit overpowered. Um, if you like this type of video, please leave some comments down below if you're looking for other stuff. I've got plenty of other little farms up my sleeve. There's some good dungeons I know that you can run repeatedly. You can even be clearing some raids still, uh, even though they have made some hot fixes and changes to those. I'm more than happy to make more videos in this style if you enjoy them. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new around here and I'll see you all next time. Peace.